Good morning. I wanted to say this morning how much I love and appreciate you that watch these devotions every day. Uh, I'm praying that they bless you and strengthen you, um, maybe teach you something, but it's not me now, it's God's Word. And uh, I'm no greater than anybody else. I just love sharing the Word of God uh, with you, and I pray today that you'll continue to lift us up in prayer, uh, my wife and I, as we witness, as we teach, and as we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to you in 1 Timothy chapter 6 today, verse 12. We're in, uh, Timothy here uh, is being instructed by Paul on things to do, how to do things, the way to do things. And in verse 12 in chapter 6, he tells the young man, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. The word fight uh, is, comes from a Greek word the Bible says that means agonize. Paul sees the Christian life as a fight, and it is. It is a fight today. We're fighting against the forces of darkness, the forces of evil that are in this world today. It's an intense struggle, and it requires the believer to hold true to what the Word of God says, that we're greater as he that's in us than as he that's in the world, that we're overcomers through Jesus Christ our Lord. This battle is going to rage on uh, until we leave here to go to be with Jesus Christ forever. We're going to fight the fight against the flesh. We're going to fight the fight against the forces of darkness that are out here in this world stirring up trouble, uh, calling Christians crazy people, radical people, uh, calling uh, the church uh, a way that it's a church that is a behind times. We're not keeping up with today. We don't need to go back and study a Bible. It was written years ago for people back then. It has no part in today's living in society. But folks, the Word of God is still as true today and is still as strong today as it ever has been. And nothing in it changes. I don't care what man says. So today we need to realize we're engaged in a spiritual com conflict with evilness. And they're going to do their best to break us down, to cause us to turn our back on God, to cause churches to split, to cause preachers to quit, to cause teachers to quit. And preachers going to encourage preachers to teach a watered-down copy of the gospel or a compromising part of gospel to where they teach you that everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. God's God understands. But folks, the Word of God does not change, and we must fight the good fight of faith. It says it's an intense struggle that requires persevering in loyalty to Christ and contending with adversaries of the gospel. All of us as children of God today, regardless of your position, whether you're a pastor, a teacher, or a deacon, or a board member, or whatever your case may be, we are all called to defend the gospel in whatever occupation God has placed us in. And that's what we must do today. Don't give in to what the world is saying. Stand with boldness. Ask God to come into our heart and into our life and strengthen us with what we need to stand in this day in which we live. And we all know God has the armor of God that we can do today, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. He gives us what we need to fight the battle because you and I cannot fight it on our own. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on to eternal life and to what we're fighting to get to. But to also know we can fight him with the word of God. The more we can learn this word, memorize this word, and be like Jesus when he was in the wilderness, defend it with the scriptures. Not what we think and what we say, but what does say the word of the Lord. That's what we need to use today to win this battle. And I pray that you will use it. And I know you can do it because with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Lord that we're in a battle, but we're told that it's there and it's coming. But not only that, you give us the means through your word to win the battle if we will just do it. And I pray today, bless everyone that's listening to this the devotion this morning. Strengthen them, give them the courage to hold on to, to the word of God. Defend it until we reach out. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.